We survived the tribunal, but at what cost? Most of the Hardy boys are now gone. Me and Kim survived. But we still haven't found who took the shot. We haven't found the culprit. It's been rough. I don't know if this is a success or not. I failed to shoot my gun proper twice. We failed both the skill checks. It was pathetic. Kim? Kim, what are you doing? You okay, buddy? Kim? D do you want to talk about this? I think it's the concussion. He's gonna be all right. Two neon lit shapes, a man and a woman, having sex. A ray of backward motion explodes from his mouth to the roof outside, A prime, to then widen into a radius of locations in Martinez, B prime, B double prime, and B triple prime. What is the point of origin, damn it? It's not the roof, and you would have found it had it been on the coast, in either B prime or B double prime, which leaves... The island. The island in the bay. I think the shot might have come from the islet. It's not impossible. There is a narrow opening between the commercial area and the collapsed tenement north of it. There are ruins on that islet, a sunken sea fort. I saw it through the coin operated viewer. I remember. He looks out the window and onto the bay. This is also the only point of origin we haven't ruled out yet. So it is. For a second he seems tired. You seem unenthusiastic. I just haven't gotten a lot of sleep these past few days. Understandable, man. He's been through a lot, poor guy. He doesn't really believe this will yield anything. Maybe we need to go to the island? <sighs> the lieutenant sighs, looking into the cold distance across the water. There, across the grey water, amidst crumbling concrete, a birch tree and the half-sunken ruins of a flak tower. I remember an anti-aircraft gun, or the ruins of one on the island, from the coin-operated viewer. Could be the makings of a sniper's nest. Why not? Military fortifications are made for that kind of thing. I'm going to the island. Are you in? Of course, of course. I'm in. He takes a second to gather himself, then says, How do we get there? Joyce Messier had her sloop, but she's gone. Lilian, uh, the net picker. She's starting her boat. Ah, yes, of course. The village. Let's go. I really want to run. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit and see if we can take any damage from running all over the place. Like a lunatic with a wounded pelvis. Let's go, Kim. Hey, buddy! Oh, you're up. It's good to see you back on your feet. Did you like your room? I cleaned it for you. I did, thank you. A big improvement. You're welcome. I thought it would be nice for you to wake up in a clean place after you, let's be fair, defended this establishment and its clientele from gunfire. I give credit where credit is due, and that, sir, was an Honest effort. I was watching until it went down. Crawled inside, then bullets started flying. Anyway. <clears throat> Did you see how pathetic I was, failing to shoot my gun twice? I'm pretty sure you witnessed it. I am embarrassed. I apologize. He really wants you to realize that he was also on the balcony looking by. In the danger zone, so to say. I wish you a quick recovery. Also, you and your partner are staying here free now. Woo! This establishment supports cops. The stay is free, the drinks are not. It just felt I needed to specify that. Where did everyone go? Oh, you know, 
people don't tend to stick around after shootouts. Turns out they're not good for business. What happened to the man with the sunglasses? I don't remember everyone who comes here. And many people wear sunglasses inside lately. Must be a fad. Uh, by the way, where were you when it happened? Where was I? How do you think I know the crazy shit you pulled off out there? I was there, out on the balcony, protecting my establishment. So, yeah, I guess I'm what you call a badass. <laughs> it really took courage. Don't pick at him. <laughs> if you say it in two different words like that, it sounds like there's something wrong with your ass. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm a, I, I have to. If you say it as two different words like that, it sounds like there's something wrong with your ass. Yeah, well, fuck you too then. <laughs> Do you have any more questions or stylistic pronunciation advice? Worth it. He's not too offended. The experience has changed something in him. <laughs> I love you too, Gart. All right, thanks. No problem. They'll come back. They always do. Goodbye. Remember, I might have said a lot of things about you, but I still love you. Hey, uh, the sexy man is still here. Hi again, Gendarme. Bye-bye, Gendarme. He's unfazed by the latest events. Completely. Seeing you approach, the bruised man raises his beer can in welcome. Oh my god, only two of them left. Oh, it's you. Didn't think we'd see you walking anytime soon. Elaine, look, it's the cowardly cop. Cowardly cop? Huh? What? He looks up, his eyes full of confusion as he'd just woken from a deep sleep. Our condolences for your losses. He says with a little nod, but the remaining Hardy Boys don't seem to register his words. Is he uh, okay? Does he look like he's okay? He does not. His unshaven face is almost grey, and he reeks of piss, sweat, and booze. While still alive, he has abandoned his own body to decomposition. How badly was he hurt? He wasn't. That's the thing. Titus, Theo, Dennis, Angie, they're all gone. But he got away without a scratch. I, I just... there's nothing left. Nothing. This is a broken man. He probably feels that he should have been able to protect the others somehow. And now he feels guilty for not dying with them. Or instead of them. What are you suggesting, Kim? I'm not suggesting much. All I'm saying is, he lost everything. Shit is tough, but you need to get off your ass and finish this. What? Crenell, Wild Pines? All the people responsible for the deaths of your friends. You're just going to leave it like that? Sons of bitches. He mumbles something in Mesk when he sinks down on the table again. A malevolent smile spreading across his face. Was this really the best idea? I guess you may have prolonged his existence a bit, if he can still remember this when he sobers up. If you think this will keep him from offing himself, I'll make sure to remind him. So far, I've just been pouring whiskey in him to keep him sedated. What's gonna happen to the Hardy Boys now that Titus is dead? Ta 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 Titus is fucking dead. What's gonna happen to the Hardy Boys? Look around you, man. This shit is done. There are no more Hardy Boys. You two are just going to go back to holding containers in the harbor? No, man. I don't know. I guess the Union will still be policing the neighborhood, but who's gonna do it now? Didn't Titus have a brother? Tiberius, he don't want to get mixed up in our shit. Titus 
has been buttering him for years, on account of all this being fun as fuck. But he's got his window fit in business, a wife with two kids, and a third one on the way. No way he's gonna leave all that. Take care, guys. Yeah, you too. It's a rough world out there. It's not easy being a cop. We were too hard on you. Both of you. We shouldn't have fucked with you like we did. You got between us and a lot of bullets in that fight. Matinees owes you one. That's kind of you to say. Take care of your friend, okay? I will. You take care of yours. A sharp pain shoots up your side and into your stomach. You must not look too good. Luckily, it passes. I'm fine. I don't know what you're talking about. The fuck is this guy? He has so many things to do, so... Oh. Un jour, je serai de retour près de toi. Return for you? What? A day? I? Uh... I wish my friends was better. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Precinct 57. We've been attacked. I repeat, Lieutenant Kim Kichiragi and... Something is wrong. Only static hisses through the speaker. Hello? No reply. Only the mindless drone of static crawling through the air. What is going on? It's been this way for a while now. My guess is the Union is listening in on our conversations and jamming outward communications to protect themselves from Cronel. It only happens when someone mentions the attack. The rest is unaffected. Our best bet is to carry on like nothing happened. That is, if we don't want us cut off the grid completely. Isn't that dangerous? No more dangerous than stepping between three armed mercenaries and eight union men, I hope. He glances over his shoulder. I don't like it either, but that's the way it is. The streets seem safe enough to me. If anything, taking out the mercs made things calmer. For now. He flicks off the radio. Silence. You can try calling again. Just don't mention the tribunal. And remember, they are listening in. Everything sounds okay. No drumbeat of total war yet. If anything, everything sounds too okay. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Alice, please connect me to the 41st again. Something is wrong. Oh my god, oh, what did I do? No. Sorry, it's I pressed the wrong way. button. Yes, I know. Silence. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Alice, please connect me to the 41st. Just a moment, officer. 10-4, come in, officer. Over. Let's do it. Jules, I've heard that some people think of me as a La Puta Madras peony. Uh, do you think I'm corrupted? 10-4, sir. Uh, well, there have been some talk, sir. Uh, some talk? What does it even mean? There's been some talk? Do, do they think I'm corrupt or not? I only meant that there's been some talk in the station, that's all. But there's always some talk in the station. You know how officers in Jamrock are. You mean gossip? But then again, some of us truly are on the take. It's unfortunate. Over. Freaking weirdos, 10-10. Roger that, 10-10, over and out. I hate my precinct. Kim, let's go buy some medicine before I die. Oh, look who's not here. The racist douchebag. Hello, miss. The yellow roses in the window, those aren't the flowers that were left for Clashia. You said aren't. The tear machine stands. Your bottles clunk into the machine. And the money appears with a satisfaction. <laughs> 20 cents. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent. Croissant? 
except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. Mm. Can I have a croissant, please? The packages are small, discreet, sloppily stacked, making them easier to take unnoticed. No, I'm fine. No need to worry about knocking over a display. Dude, it's only four bucks. I can afford it. I want to buy a raincoat. Here you go. Let me see it. Endurance. It's terrible. I love it. Not the tape player. Yes. Uh, hello? A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Alright, let's just buy one Nosafed. That should be enough. We already have like five charges. Just in case. Okay, here. I hope Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. Thank you. How nice of you. Let's go, Kim. Hey, my man! How you doing? The boy Adero stares at you with respect, then gestures towards the trickles of blood adorning your clothes. Danger comes with a boy Adero lifestyle, right? There are types of danger. The one I'm usually concerned with is lung cancer or getting mauled by wildlife, not bullets. It calls back to an older era where this was commonplace, though. You have a true boyadero heart. Right, so where is everyone? Hiding, gathering themselves. The harbor's in full lockdown, friend. No getting in or out for the time being. You can't help me get inside? No, man. Not today. Today is war. He says it matter-of-factly, like it's no big deal. What's going to happen next? Time will tell. I'll tell Everard you drop by. I'm sure he'll be glad. He gives you a small wink. What will you be doing now? I'll be okay here, doing lookout. Quite the side, aren't they? Getting to like that red I am. Don't worry about me. I live to alleviate the worries of our brothers. See if any insane killers turn up. Then I'll run. And live. Try not to get shot, eh? I'm sure I'll be luckier than you, friend. His grin is as wide as a desert. See you later, buddy. Nobody's up here. But we're not lying, it is in lockdown. We can't access the door. Let's go, Kim. So apparently running cannot hurt you, even though, you know, you haven't shot. And it would take like a million years to get anywhere if we were not running. Let's see who else is here. How about the lady? The lady driver. She's not here. A lorry abandoned by its owner. This guy remained. Were you here the whole time during the shootout? My man, you're alive. Almost, kind of, sort of alive. Alive and limping. Man, what a day. I missed out on most of the action, but I heard it was quite the encounter. Had a strong sense of finality to it. So what's next? You guys heading back to Jamrock now? Talk is local union muscle will be behind it all. I'd reckon the case is closed, even if it kind of turned into a shit show. I'm still looking around. Loose threads to tie up. Good luck with that, my man. Ain't easy being you, but hey, you're still breathing, right? I'll see you, my dude. Another really good fellow. Hey, Grandpa! Mon dieu, officer. It is worse than I thought. Believe me, I know all about that kind of pain. I've had hip trouble for the past week. Maybe it's time to slow down 
enjoy life a bit. Anything I can do to assist you? No, I came here exclusively to steal your sandwich. But this is not an option anymore, so goodbye, old man. Maybe next time. See Lang, my man. Wow. Wow what? A cop limping down the street, bleeding from the shoulder, face bruised, looking like hell? You know what that is? Cool. That's cool. He nods and settles back into the pile of boxes. You freaking weirdo. <laughs> Kim, what do we have here? What is this? Footfall within. Not human? Up there? The phasmid, perhaps? No. You know it's but a dog. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Does Roy know about the shootout? Between you and me, this is why I don't get involved in local politics. Well, someone has to. So it goes. Now, what can I do for you? Oh, I just uh, came by to say hello and goodbye. Is Kim okay with me buying drinks? Because we have another story from uh, that one guy, the, the homeless drunk. Do these people over here know about the shootout? Old lady. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? I got shot. I, even I can see that. I told you not to bring your trouble with you, policeman. We've got troubles of our own here. <laughs> Though I suppose you took the worst of it. Turns out you were your own ill omen. <laughs> I guess you were right. The men with guns were coming for me after all. I'm not sure those were the loss of the men with guns either. They are always more coming for your kind, officer. Thank you, that's very reassuring. Then we'll be ready for them. You, you shut up now. You failed me twice in a row. Not a war from you, Hyundai coordination. You suck. <laughs> we don't have any bullets. <laughs> Let's see our missions. Go to the island. Uh, find the mer- Oh. How long is this gonna take? Let me see. It's almost done. 11 minutes. We can rush it. Do something dumb like um, attempt to, to read this thing. Interact with, uh, do we even have anything new to interact with here? The Greatest Innocence, uh, Dick Mullen and the uh, Mistaken Identity. Medicinal Purposes of the Pale. What the heck is this? The note is written with a blue pencil. Something fast, I, I gotta read something fast. Kendall. I don't know, I mean anything, anything really. Medicinal purpose. Flipping through the book, okay. you find a number of sections on the general benefits of the Pell. A large, have you taken any walks through the Pell recently? Yeah, uh, maybe? And on your walks, do you stop to meditate on the nature of your being? Uh, totally, every time. Good. And when you meditate, are you in the nude? Oh yeah, buck naked. Excellent. You're doing everything as you should. Regular power meditation has been shown to help keep your body lithe and strong. 
your mind alert and expensive. A note of caution, however, be sure to limit your exposure to the power to no more than an hour a day and no more than three hours total per week. Noted. Well, that was more than enough to complete the thought. Arno van Eyck. Okay, so Egghead is clearly not Van Eyck in disguise. Aww. Van Eyck is an Oranese disc jockey, but those people get around, especially in Rivershaw, in the clubs on Boogie Street. Perhaps he stayed here for a short stint and discarded part of the song he was working on, just threw it away, and then it ended up in the Orthorn tree. But why? Did he think it was retrograde? It wasn't. Perhaps he caught a glimpse of the future and did not want for it to arrive just yet. Perhaps the city whispered the top line to him, and he was frightened by it. Olmotorix White Checks Unlocked reveals Arno van Eyck's gig posters in the world? And what's the use of that? I don't know, I mean, it sounds fun, but... Uh, what does he do exactly? I'm not expecting to find any posters around here, however. In the middle of nowhere. Let's check in on the boys, see how they fare. It's been quite some... This guy is still dancing. And please, please don't fail the check this time. Good morning! Yeah! Harder car! Interfacing, why are you so shit? It's unacceptably bad. I've thought about the discarded melody and came to the conclusion that Van Eyck has lived around here. J'adore! God is close by, but maybe he doesn't have good enough ears. Let me turn it up so we can lure him here. That didn't improve anything. Interfacing. I need, uh... Not this one. I, I need, uh... My trusty gloves, yes. Can I at least get like a 40% or something? Good morning! Good morning! Yeah. 58! Let's tame the audio onslaught. Here's an idea. Say what you said before. The exact same thing. Or, or wait. Say something that's only marginally different. It will yield a drastically different outcome. It, it wants. I don't know the technical term, but it needs less. Bzz, bzz. I'm getting that right, goddammit. I don't want to be soft locked out of it. Good morning! Yeah! Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Again? Here's an idea. You son of a bitch! Good morning! We yeah. got it now, we got it. Side chain the beat. Side chain? What does it even mean? Listen, you can use the compressor to select between which track it's compressing. Either the auxiliary signal or the main input from the tape. Make it alternate between the signals. The compressor controls the gain based on the level of the signal on the aux side chain input. It will allow maintaining a loud sound without peaks that fill up all the headspace. What? Okay. Egg, you need to start side chaining it. Side chaining it, you said? He turns down the music, his hands moving deftly across the mixer, setting up the necessary controls. Then he puts on his headphones and his eyes go wide. Wider than they've ever gone on drugs. He starts jumping up and down with bliss in total silence, still listening to his headphones. Hey, what did you do to Egghead, Cotman? Did you break him?
Just wait and see. Are you ready, pussy? Noid straightens his back, ready for the beat. I was born ready, Egg. Give him a thumbs up. Oh, it's so much better now. on the stage, intensely waving his hand in the air. This is beauty! This is life! What in the world is going on? The way melody and bass flow together, it's unnatural. We have tamed the sound, made it our own. God damn it! This dance club idea might just work out. DeLorean Church! The place to be! Pump it! Pump it! This is it. This is a new era. The fabric of the world has been irrevocably altered. Who will be the innocence of hardcore anodic dance music? My job here is done. Enjoy the music, boys. Too bad I cannot dance again, or can I? Oh, the god of dance is back! I'm dancing with the god of dance! He dances over to you. Moving in a slightly less lame manner. He's learning! Goodbye, officer. Goodbye, my boy. Have a good one. We are the Lord of Dance. Fuck Michael Flatley. What did he know? You are here. Oh, we can now first struggle again. Nothing else we can do. All of these are not even existent any longer. Any side missions we want to complete? How do I offer figurines to Dolores Day, dude? Find the murder weapon, go to the island, uh, fuck that guy, and determine where the shot came from. Well, we're heading over to the island right now. Oh, we could uh, hear another story by the drunk, but I don't think I have any alcohol on me. I should have bought some. My precious boy, though, wouldn't appreciate that, so maybe... Uh, maybe later, I don't know, we'll see. It's not important, anyway. I'm curious, but not very, very curious. Officer Harry, what happened? You're limping. Why are you limping? You look terrible. Some people hurt me. <laughs> I got shot in the foot. It was pretty badass. You would have liked it. Is this from the shooting in town? We heard gunshots. Not that we don't hear gunshots all the time, but they were closer than usual. There was an exchange of fire on Rue de saint guilaine It's nothing to be worried about, madame. Ah, uh, no. Uh, I have a question for you. Of course. Can I help you with something? We need to get to that island. That won't be a problem. It's wind still and the tar just dried. We've got two days of relative sunshine ahead. <laughs> two days of sunshine? I just got a bacterial infection. What's on that island? I saw some kind of ruins through the binoculars. Hmm. Used to be some kind of fortification there before the war. For the communards. An anti-aircraft gun, I think. Bombed to bits in the landing. I haven't been there myself. Always steered clear of it. Hasn't been there herself. Who has then? Probably her husband. You said you haven't been there yourself. Who has then, if not you? My husband used to drink there. Him and his drinking buddies. Always seemed like a bad place to drink to me. People died there during the landing, you know. My mother told me. This must be one of the many fortifications that was used in the dying days of the revolution against coalition forces before they took this city. The kids sometimes go there too. 
I know they do, on rafts. I tell them not to, but they bring back old bullet casings and such. Which kids? Her kids are very young. The twins. God forbid they bring the girl along on some rickety barge. What the hell? And you let them go? Can we maybe ask your twins about that place before we go? Would that be alright? Be my guest. They have a strange way of talking. See if you can get anything useful out of them. I seldom do. Is there anything I should know about getting there? Well, most of it's sunken. Underwater. That means concrete underwater. Cut your boat if you're not careful. Be sure to enter from the south side. Water's deep there. Aye aye, Captain. Can we borrow your boat? If you promise to bring it back. And no scraping the hull. I just got it nice and yellow. And no drinking on the boat. And no joyriding either. Of course, ma'am. It's only for a day or two. Official police business. Aye. <laughs> what if I want a rock? Not along attentively. The crow's feet disappear from the corners of her eyes as she smiles at you. Thank you. We'll use your skiff to get there then. Please be conservative with the fuel, will you? Just filled her up, but it's a small tank. Let's talk to the kids. Come, Kim. Not getting anything useful out of them. Probably the, the, the girl knows more. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Is uh, little Lily your sister? Yes. Yes? Yes. That's it? You're being laconic about it. It doesn't look like he knows what that means. Children are stupid! Okay, kids, you've been to that island, right? On that island? The one who's busy kicking his stone points to the bay. Yes, uh, that one. I need to know what's there. That's, um, nothing. It's just a seaport and some plants. You can take a raft there, it's great. And, and, we make a fire. We make a, we make a fire. Mm-hmm. Gather the sticks for the fire. And bullets. Or not real bullets, empty bullets. Lillian, why are you letting your boys travel to the island? Like what? Three? Bullet shells. There are a lot of them left over from the war, but this could be important. Wait, you mean shells? I don't know what they are. Uh, what then? There are lights. The fire guy comes and asks us to put the fire out. The fire guy? They must mean a human being on that island, but it's cut off. Someone lives on the island? No. The boy answers, shaking his head vehemently. Yes. His brother looks at him, and then at you. Let's go with yes. The lieutenant raises his eyebrows and whips out his notebook. Why is he the fire guy? Because... because... The boy pauses to think. Because he asks to put the fire out. The other explains. Why does he ask you to put the fire out? Um, I don't know. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like people to be there. You shouldn't go. Yes. You mentioned something about, um, lights. I... I don't know. Did you mean there are electrical lights? He points to the street light. He's so much better than me with kids. Um, yes. Is there, um, anything else you can tell me about this guy? Uh, age? Does he live there? No, he doesn't live there. I don't think. No, he lives there. Been there twice, two times. You guys are the worst. Uh, he doesn't live there. He isn't there sometimes. Anything else? What does this guy look like? I don't know. How come? We... we ran. 
He just yelled, we shouldn't be there. Your father used to go to the island too, didn't he? Our father killed himself. That's not what I asked you. Didn't say that, he didn't. The boy's eyes well up like he's about to start crying. Uh, say nothing. I'm sorry. One says to the other, rubbing his brother's shoulder affectionately. Is that all you know? Is there anything more you can tell me about the island? There's a... The boy says, rubbing his eyes, it's clear that he has no intention of finishing the sentence. Lights, fire guy. We should check up on that island. <laughs> Children are stupid! Can we ask the little girl? Maybe she knows something. Come, Kim. Hello, Mesta. Aww. Bye. Bye. You're my favorite of the three, by the way. The boys suck. Okay, let's go. Not sure if we can do any of these things here. I mean, find the murder weapon. It's still ongoing, so maybe we can find it on the island? Just a wild guess. Be careful out there. Seas calm as death, but still. There are ruins underwater. Do we just take the boat and go? Just like that? Well, thanks. A skiff with a small steering engine in the back floats on the calm mirror of the sea. Its two seats are empty. The boat's belly is a shiny yellow color, industrial paint over fresh tar. You see it reflect off the water, along with the factory number, A72. Once you get in, that's it. One pull of the starter handle, and you're off into the bay. A strange trepidation comes over you. Are you sure you want to go now? Yes. Have you made all the necessary preparations? Closed all your accounts. I love how the game is warning you about there's no turning back after you do this. I, I, I think I'm good. I think I'm done. Two skill points. Let's save them for later. Yes. Remember what the net picker said. It's a small tank. You won't be going back and forth on this. <laughs> you take the engine, Kim. I'll haul the boombox. What? <laughs> what what how else do we blast sad fm on our way to the island fine let's blast sad fm then sad fm is a radio station specializing in sad slow rock songs you seem to know its frequency by heart get in and ride to the island this is it boys this is it Look at me go. Hit me with the sad tunes. One, two, three, three. One, two,
The boat comes to a slow stop. The lieutenant turns the engine off. Then, there's silence. In the silence, a sputter of wings. A flock of quails takes off in a distance. Let's go. The makeshift bridge. The bombs were powerful enough to break the foundation. The rest of the chain trails off into the ocean. The chain trails off into the ocean, connecting the island to the supply depot on the coast. This leads to the depot in Land's End. Ah, yes, so it seems. What do you think it was used for? For bringing munitions to the island, maybe? And supplies? You could also lock the bay when you raise the chain. As a defensive measure, lock it off that side of the bay. Lock it from whom? From enemies. Enemies of the commune of Revachol. This sea fort was a revolutionary fortification, I believe. The styres are falling apart. They're at least 50 years old. Wait, there's no way through here? Nope. Ah, music is so nice. Attention. Inflammable. Some fuel has leaked out of the barrel. Black. Vicious. There's a lingering trace of mazoots in the air. The dry grass crackles under your feet as you stop. Far away birds' wings touch the still surface of the sea. What is that flatter? The flock of quail departs. Now more than a hundred meters away. A hundred and two. A hundred and five. Underneath the flatter. On the islet, there is almost no wind. Just the light movement of air through the reeds. Bulrushes swaying on the waterline. Long dried leaves chafing against each other. Like a silent orchestra tuning at the beginning of some major work. To the west. A silent hiss. Sea air moving through the needles of a pine tree. To the east. The faraway roar of the city. Distant like today's dream. Before it, the sound of sand. The low tide filtered through its grains, a bird tending to its feathers. Ahead. A low hum. The air slowly moves through a concrete box, through its ancient slits and cracks, resonating, hollow, a big building. Beyond that, further north. Air flows out of a pillbox window. There is very little there. The air cossacks flowers on the meadow. Absolute silence. Reeds motionless. Bulrushes motionless. Below the silence? Call the Mama Dakwa. <laughs> of course. Of course. Kim? Yes? Momentarily, the sounds are swept away. Pain shoots up your right foot and into your groin. Have you noticed how quiet it is? I have. Is that why we're stopping? Mm-hmm. Wait. I have to listen to one more thing. The lieutenant nods in silence. Open your eyes. Stop listening. What... what am I looking at? What, camera? Sparrow says ICM. You see a star with a little specks in it. ICM? This feels familiar somehow. Kim? What is the ICM? Insulindian Citizens Militia. 
It is the official name of the Communards Army. The black and white army of the revolution. Sounds an awful lot like. RCM? It sounds like RCM, Revachol Citizens Militia. It does. Why? The RCM may descend from the ICM. May? It's impossible to say. It was chaos after the war. The name was good for getting people to join us. Revachol West was mostly workers and criminals. Nice political thoughts rush through your neocortex. A mediocre athlete would pant from dragging around his body on a busted crutch. But not you. You're thinking about politics with blood dripping down your thigh. ICM sounds like ICP. Very close to the International Collaboration Police. Nice and normal that way. That's just a coincidence, officer. The Comil was founded in 32. He bows to inspect the barrel. A white star. No, an upside down star. With its horns in the sky, the symbol of the commune. Are those specs stars too? No, that's the uninhabited archipelago. A DeLorean era symbol of Insulinda, known as the face in the sea. Looks old. What's it still doing here? After 44 years? That's not nearly enough to hide what happened here, Lieutenant Gefreiter. One of these barrels was still leaking fuel, as you saw. The city is full of things like this. Old bullets, guns, fuel. No way to get up there. The stairs are gone. Dude, this place is huge. Books, mostly fantastique and historical fiction. was once an armament rest. Twin cannons were attached here, medium distance, large caliber. Careful, the stairs have collapsed. Oh, look at this. This is stained with sauce and fire, a survivor's kitchen. old cylindrical generator is nested above the ammo lift, with makeshift electrical wiring running out of its side and across the floor. The cables disappear into the wall to your right. The lieutenant puts his hand on the metal barrel, checking for warmth. It's cold now, but someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. Where do these wires lead? Downstairs, somewhere. What kind of generator is this? Liquid carbon. I would imagine it takes mazout. He points to the open fuel cap on the side of the dynamo. The kind that's favored by vagrants and fuel thieves. It's been a long winter, long and cold. If anyone stayed here, they'd need a generator. Tap on the side. A hollow ring. The canister is empty. Dust falls from the generator and down into the ammo lift. What does this mean? A generator here? I don't know. I'm not a philosopher. I meant, why is it here? Someone who is basic electrical skills has restored it in order to keep the room warm. Maybe it's the fire guy. The wind outside picks up suddenly with a faint howl. Inside, it's warm. This place gives me the creeps. Fallen... Arrower shirt? What does it look like? Also stats. And an eye coordination. 
This fallen training shirt has seen one wash too many. It retains its unusual design, one sleeve short, the other long, but little of its original colors. A giant F swooshes across its chest, now it's gray. I'll uh, wear it for a little bit, you never know. And a scarf. The moth bitten bed sheet keeps the wind out. You see candles planted on a broken rangefinder. There's a greasy old spring mattress in the corner, resting on piles of soft cover books. White linen and a pillow are visible under a worn out caracal blanket. Someone has been squatting here. The linen is fresh, recently washed. How recently? A flash of pain interrupts you, making you wince instead of letting the words out. You know, officer, you can rest here if you are feeling tired. I will keep watch. You could use some rest for what's ahead. No time to rest now. Yes, any time. If you need a rest later, it's okay by me. You don't have to be a hero. I'm not, I just... I, 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 we, we, we just found this place. We need to investigate. I'll be fine. Books and magazines lie scattered on the floor and on a makeshift cupboard. They are not particularly well organized. Sift through them. Most are soft covers, serialized fantastique and detective stories from the 20s and 30s. This disparate digest includes the classic Animal Adventures, popular depictions of man versus nature by amateur naturalists T. and T. Harpin, husband and wife, widely read by people from all walks of life. Who doesn't like nature? Who doesn't want to survive? Among what is mostly commercial fiction and serialized stories, you find a magazine cathodique for electrical engineering. Then it's back to pulp. Light erotica, an international thriller about circuit benders. Someone's made themselves a home. That's a white check. I thought I had enough conceptualization for the rest of the game. Good lord. Do we have minuses on conceptualization? Is that why? I don't see anything in here. Zero conceptualization. Let's fix this, shall we? Come on, baby, where is it? Give me the conceptualization. Yeah. This is empathy. Stowy old scarf itches when wrapped around the neck. It has humanitarian aid written all over it. Yet you know that thousands all over the Isola are suffering the same fate as you. The fate of uncomfortable army surplus scarves. Lovely. Did we go through all the clothes? Wait, conceptualization, I have one. I need a lot more. This one will do it. Come on, baby, give me more. We can try this again. If we fail. But I'd rather not fail. I've been failing a lot lately. This has to stop. It's, it's ridiculous how often we fail. Do we have any minuses on... Uh, Conceptualization? I don't think so. All of these are pluses. I'm good. All right. Uh, one empathy, minus two. Yep, let's roll with it. See if that works. Soft covers, serialized <laughs> fantastique, and detective stories. Animal Adventures, a magazine for electrical engineering, and an international thriller. Not that you can tell. Damn it. This is a digest of someone who's dead bored. Most of it is for entertainment purposes. Fittingly, right next to the radiola on the floor. Nothing? Nothing out of the ordinary. Maybe it's a little old-fashioned. There's a nude mag. More than that, you can't say. Hmm. 
The print in some of these is pretty small, though. This person has good eyesight. Conceptualization, where are you, buddy? We have six. Let me pull up one point in there. Try this again. 42, a little better. So much better. Soft covers, serialized, fantastique. Oh yes, under the bed, there is a rather extensive collection of critical theory. That is, dour, life non-affirming left-wing literature published by small imprints such as Abattoir Firm and Uzia. It's not exactly like reading. Look him! A book! Left wing. I have no comments, do you? Uzia. Humanitarian sciences. Stands out. Not a lot of critical theory around in Ravashod West anymore. Your incendiary remark has failed to provoke him. Mm. Wasn't there some in the communist student's room? Yeah! A student in the apartment building seemed to have some as well. Well, yes. That one student did. The little books seem inconsequential next to the big pile of frivolous entertainment covering them. Critical theory books. What do you think this means? Again, I am not a philosopher, but whoever has lived here, they have some education and a certain set of interests. Interesting. There's no way through there, I don't think. This is the entry point. This great blast door must weigh over 10 tons. Rust peels off it. Why, hello there. Oh, magnesium, really? You see a small metal door nested inside a larger one. A heavy steel blast door. There is a conventional keyhole above the handle. It's very small. What's on the other side? Another part of the island, probably. The lock looks like it could still be usable. How do we open this? Maybe this is one of the doors we don't open? He looks at the door, then at its bigger brother, then at the lock. He's right. It would be better to open its big brother. A powerful engine hangs under the ceiling. It must control the blast door. You're right. We opened the big one. Do you see controls anywhere? I think there's a console just southeast. Let's look around. Getting the blast door open seems like the best plan. What's this question mark? Oh! Oh, <laughs> what? This is the first time I see this menu. Good lord. Did he say southeast? Wait, that's not the exit? Interesting. I was confused there for a moment. Alright, the chair is the same. Soft covers. Yeah, okay. Cereal. The chair is uh, interacting with the books as well. Nothing new there. There's a console down there. Alright, let's take a small break. And I will see you on the next episode of Disco Elysium. Until then, thank you everybody for watching. Have fun, whatever you do. Take care of yourselves. And do not forget, keep on gaming. I will see you all next time.